Hello, my name is Tammy Parks and I'm the Assistant Director of Financial Aid and Admissions for the Graduate School of Social Service. I'm going to give you some information about the student loan process and talk with you about scholarships as well. As an undergraduate student, you may have had many different options to finance your education. This would include student loans, work study, as well as grants. However, now as a graduate student, student loans are the only options that are available. There are two different loans that you can apply for if you are eligible. The first loan is called a direct loan. This will allow you to borrow up to $20,500 per academic year. It's typically split in half so that you would receive $10,250 for the fall and the same amount for the spring. If that amount is not enough to cover the cost of tuition and fees, you can then apply for what is called a PLUS loan. The PLUS loan does not have a set amount you can borrow, but it does allow you to borrow up to the cost of tuition and fees. So you would need to apply for the direct loan first, receive approval, and again, if that does not cover the cost of tuition and fees, apply for the PLUS loan second. The process. First, you will need to apply for the FAFSA, which is short for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. In order to apply for the FAFSA, you will need to start that application at studentloans.gov. That is also the same website that you would need to go to to start your application for the direct loan and the PLUS loan. No need to write that down or to worry. We will be sending out a follow-up email after this session, and it will have that information um, in that email. So after the federal government has reviewed and approved your loan, they will send it to Fordham University where it will be processed. This summer, you will be able to request your loan amount so that it can be posted to your account. And then shortly before the semester begins, your student loan, student loan funds will be posted to your student account. I did mention that this summer you can request your loan amount. If I can give you one tip, it would be to only borrow what you need. You can definitely borrow the full amount if you need it, but if you do your finances this summer and determine that you may not need the full loan amount, you can request less. You don't have to request the full amount. If you request less, the less you will have to borrow, and then the less you will have to pay back after your graduate education program is over. This is not the end all be all of the student loan process. If I were to go through every detail, we would be here for hours. However, um, there is a very good comprehensive guide that is available um, to you. If you received a scholarship email from us, that guide link is there, but we will be again also sending it out after this session so that you can access that information. Um, it gives you information about the step-by-step -step application process, um, gives you a checklist to follow, and also tells you some information about repayment plans and loan repayment options. So please check out that guide whenever you get a chance. Next on the list would be scholarships. We do offer merit-based scholarships uh, to students who are eligible. We gave out merit-based scholarships based on your entire application, which included your resume, the GPA from your transcript, your letter of recommendation, and your personal statement. If you were awarded a merit-based aid, you would have received notification after you, accept, after you were accepted to the program. At this point, all merit-based aid has been awarded for the academic year. I know that students are always very interested in scholarships and receiving merit-based aid, but um, most graduate programs um, do not offer full scholarships, half or even quarter scholarships to students. Um, most graduate students are able to put together a more meaningful package by putting together several different facets. That could include student loans, that can also include merit-based aid, or um, possibly an outside scholarship from an agency. Again, if you put all of those together, you would have a more meaningful package and not necessarily have to account on, account on one element more than the other. 
We do have a very comprehensive scholarship and fellowship guidebook as well that you have been sent. But again, that information will be in the follow-up email after this session. And if I could leave you with one final tip, I would say do a Google search. You would be amazed what you can find. There is money out there, but you have to be willing to find it. If you start your Google search with something as simple as scholarships for graduate students or scholarships for graduate students who are studying social work or social service, again, you will be amazed at what you could find. Possibly combine the two searches um, and try some other searches and see what you come up with. We are here for you. If you do have any questions about the admissions process, about the registration process, about financial aid and scholarships, we are more than happy to answer your questions. Please take care, please stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you this fall. Thank you.